Hello and welcome to Spookville Cabin Escape Devlog Zero. This is our first developer log, and really our announcement of the game. I say we because I'm making this game with my son, Cohen. We started in January with a proof of concept of jumping and playing around in Unity's starter asset pack, specifically the third person controller. He started giving me some ideas, implementing an ally system, and after a small Where discussion, we agreed teddy? on an follow anthropomorphic me. teddy bear. Follow me, teddy. This teddy bear follows commands like follow and stay. I had Cohen record the commands and play them on key press, which made hours and hours of fun. But we quickly grew tired of the default character robot that Unity gives us, so I began looking for a new character. I usually like more realistic games, but Cohen and I had stay been playing here, a lot of teddy. Fortnite during the cold winter nights, so a, a more tuned look was agreed on. We found the boy character model, and it was easy enough to change out the characters. But playing with an ally grew boring, so I created some interactable objects, like this radio. You can turn it on and off, and even do a little dance to it. While this project kept evolving over time, there was a Unity sale and I picked up an environment asset as ideas started flowing about the storyline. I don't want to spoil too much of the story yet, but here's a nice walkthrough of the front yard of the cabin. Note, it is set to change quite a bit from what you see here. I will tell you though, there will be combat. But the spirit of the game is a kid's point of view, so there will be some interesting choice of weapons. Weapons for sure that are implemented in the game are a heavy wooden sword and a nerf gun. The wooden sword will give you a nice whack on and hit on an enemy, whereas the nerf gun has a 12 round magazine and uses physics to semi-realistically replicate a fired dart from the gun. I added some inverse kinematics on the character to make it feel a little more realistic, but there is more work to be done. And that's it for the first dev vlog. Go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video where we show that we've already replaced the character uh, with a more detailed one and added a couple new scenes.